guys, this is Teresa. Welcome back to our channel. If you are a part of the TNT community, we thank you. If not, take a second, hit that like, uh, thumbs up, hit that, uh, well, subscribe, hit the like, thumbs up, and smash that notification bell so that you'll no be notified every time we upload content, okay? So with that being said, let's get into this video today. guys so i want to start off by saying i've got a friend um that i subscribe to on youtube and um she's just so sweet um and she sent me a chaffle maker because um i had told her that i really you know like them or whatever just didn't know that she was paying attention to what i said long story short she sent me a chaffle maker and this is it it's by dash look at it guys this is going to be my first time experimenting with it. You can make waffles. You can make chaffles. And what chaffles are are uh, eggs with um, cheese. You mix them together and it, it makes a, a little waffle for you. Well, it makes a chaffle is what it's called. But anywho, this is going to be my first time using it. And I'm just want, I'm going to experiment with it and play with it. And I'm going to make, uh, today I'm going to make some salmon patties. We're going to see how this turned out, guys. I'm going to make some salmon patties, okay? So I've got right here a can of black top, uh, pink salmon. These are the only kind of salmon that I use. I like black top brand. And that's just me. Y'all know, you know, I love to say that's just me because that's my business. So I got the black top salmon. I've got one egg. I got a fourth of a cup here of onions because I don't really do onions that much. So I'm going to put just a little in. I got some parsley flakes. Of course, my favorite complete seasoning, some onion powder, garlic powder, some salt, and some pepper. And then I got some um, self rising flour here that I'm going to put in my mixture. That's kind of going to help it bind together, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do first is pour this liquid off of here. I always pour, pour the liquid off first. Get all that liquid off of there. We're going to get all of that off first. And y'all, as y'all can see, I got my gloves on because I don't want that smell all over my hand, okay? So, that's our liquid. Now, I'm going to pour my meat in here like this. And then this is what I do. I, I turn it over. And as you can see, right here, it's already split. So, I just take it like this right here. That's how I do. And then I get all of this black stuff here off. Some people, they cook it just like this. Not Teresa. That's my business. I do it like this. And it's y'all business because y'all do it like that. Okay? But I take all of that off of there and I just shred it like this right here. Check the other side too. We're going to get all of this skin off of here. Okay? Going to get all of that off like that. And then make sure I got it. And then as you like I like to go in here in between here like this. Can y'all see? And you just really it does it for you. You see that bone that's in there? All of those bones. I get all of those bones out. Okay? And then I start just doing that with my hand like that. But I get all of this big old bone that's in. See this big bone? I'm taking that out of there. We don't want to eat no bones, I don't. Okay? Taking all of that bone out like that. And then I just check through my meat to make sure there are no more bones in here. Okay? And then you can still see a few of them. So I just scrape them with my hand like that and get them out. Okay? Like that. Okay? Making sure there are no more bones in there. If they are, let's just get them out. Okay? So, that's all I do with that, like that. Okay, do that like that real good. Making sure all that skin, you want that on there. Okay, the bone. Still getting all of this black off. This skin, I call it. Go again. 
get this phone off like this. See, getting all that phone out of there. Here goes some more bone right here. I'm gonna get all of these off of here. Okay? Making sure that there are none in there. And that's it. And then I just kind of crumble it up like this a little. it up. Then I put my egg in. Break my one egg. Then I put my onions in. Like that. Okay. Now, let me just kind of clean the gloves off a little bit before I start touching on now, what I want to do now, I'm going to put my seasoning in, okay? Put just a tad of salt. Now, I love me some black pepper. Okay? I'm going to put some onion powder in. Just a little total seasoning. And my parsley flakes. Because parsley makes everything look pretty, y'all. It makes everything look pretty. Alright? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead on and plug my, my little um, waffle maker in. Let it heat on up. Okay. Now, what I do, guys, that that um, the juice from the salmon, I pour it all back in here. I pour it all back in like that, okay? Because you want that good salmon taste, all right? Now, now that it's all mixed up like that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch and get my spoon so I can put me some self-rising flour in here. And I just, I kind of eyeball it, y'all. But this is going to be like your, um, I'm going to just say maybe. We'll just say maybe about two, well, about three tablespoons, okay? I'm going to see how, we're going to start with the three tablespoons. And then I'm going to see how they go. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to put a little bit more flour in because it's not to my liking yet, okay? So what we're going to do, we am going to get me another spoon now. And I'm going to get me another tablespoon like this right here and that should be good. that should be it let's see oh i hope this turned out so good guys i don't know about y'all but i love salmon i love me some salmon okay we're gonna see how these turn out i want to put me a little bit more black pepper in there just a little bit more, okay? Okay, just a little bit more black pepper. And I'm gonna, we're gonna look like we're gonna end up with a little bit more flour too, cause it just ain't to the like the sisters. But that's gonna have to be it. I ain't putting no more in here. That's gonna be it, yeah. That's gonna be it. All right, guys. Here we 
go. Now I'm going to make these up. And we're going to see. Alright, so. We got our chocolate maker on. Let me get my spray. olive oil spray here and I'm going to spray my alright so alright here we go I'm going to try to make let's see if I can how are we going to do this There we go, guys. It's in there. We're going to... Okay, it's like... I'm going to see how long. I'm going to try to cook it maybe about... I'm going to try four minutes and see how it goes. Um, so I'll come back in about four minutes and we'll see what it looks like. Okay? So hold your horse. Okay, guys. It's been about four minutes. So I'm going to lift the lid and let's see what we're working with. Okay? that's done we're gonna take it off look at that can y'all see that look at my little uh salmon patty we're gonna put it right here and as y'all can see i made me some more and so we're gonna wait let me put this like this because i don't think that's going to work for me like that so, let me find my Let me make it do it like this right here. Let's see if I can do it like this. No, that's not going to work either. Alright, well, I'm just going to just make it up like this right here. Oh, gosh, Teresa, you're making a mess. I was trying not to use my hands, but I'm going to have to use them anyway. I don't want to, um, I want my patties to look neat. Alright. Alright, we're going for another one for four minutes. I think instead of four, I think instead of four, I'm going to just try three minutes this time. So, hold your horses. We're going to do one more. And I'm going to taste test for you guys. Okay, so hold on. Y'all, <laughs> this is so funny to me. Well, you know, this is my first time using it, so I was just thinking in my mind, well, I'm going to just try to time it, you know, the way I think it, they'll be done. Well, the thing pops up, it tells you when your food is done. So it's done, guys. So this is the second one. Let's lift it. Oh, wow, these things look so yummy. They look so yummy. Okay, I'm going to try this all right, I'm going to try this one. I'm going to put this other one in right here. see what we shall see. Look, oh God, we thank you for this little salmon patty. Amen. Let's see. Okay. Looks good. It's good. 
It is really good, guys. It is really good. Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to fix me one of my Kia waffles and eat with this. This is good, guys. Mm-hmm. 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 This is good. So, thank you guys for watching me experiment with my new little chuffle maker. I'm going to make something else, and I want y'all to watch me do that as well. But before I go, I just want to encourage you to, uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. If you are, we thank you so much. Don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end because we are in the process of trying to get ready for our $1,000, I mean, our, uh, yeah, $1,000 giveaway. But we also need your help in reaching the 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it, appreciate that as we're going forward for those 4,000 watch hours, okay? But we need your help. Those of you that are already a part of the TNT community, we love you guys and we appreciate you so much. And thanks again for watching this video. I I want you guys to try your uh, chaffle maker. I think you'll like it because I already know I'm going to love mine. So until the next video, let the journey continue. Bye, guys. Ups and down.